First time listeners to the Gina and Carl Put It Quite Frankly podcast are sometimes confused by the inclusion of canine audio content, or CAC, as it's known in the industry. At the beginning of each episode, while the on-air talent is drinking coffee and milling around, our audio engineer attaches two special slobber-proof microphones to a dog named Hank. Microphone number one records the sound of Hank gnawing on a bend. It sounds like this, except way more irritating. Microphone number two is significantly tinier, and it records the sound of Hank's ID tag while he's gnawing on the bed. This is a sort of metallic jingly sound, like sleigh bells designed for a very small sleigh to be piloted by a dexterous rodent. that we've witnessed that annoys us that we shouldn't do. <laughs> yeah, we should. Okay, let's get into that first. Should we introduce ourselves first, or should we pontificate before the introduction? I never know what's appropriate for that. Do people like a little pontificating to kind of prime the pump? Yeah, let's prime the pump. All right. All right let's talk about some things that, that, that we're not going to allow on this podcast. I'm not saying they won't... Get they won't sneak through our, our our I mean we have a we have a we have a pretty well maintained protective shell but some things might get by but we we are we don't like the thing with podcasts where people are just constantly being sarcastic and then laughing at their own pseudo jokes and all yeah, that that's like just, that's no um, good this this show is going to be very deadly serious I think and, and there's not going to be any of that. Of, of, of that sort of um, fun and games, like like this. If you're looking for fun, this well, there's is not, not going to be place. contrived canned humor. That's no, there's, there's not, not a, none of that. We're, there's no contriving naturally anything. occurring humor. We're not going to we're not going to can or contrive any humor here. Um, what's another thing? Uh, was that the only thing? The, the, the thing yeah, I probably were, wanted were, to talk about? I forgot. There were a few now that things. Now that the recording light is on, I can't remember anything. We I know, it's planned. true. It's true. It's because um, we're not contriving. If we were contriving things, we, it would be like... We, would have, we would have a script all set up with everything okay. we need to talk about. I, I think one of the things that, that we, we did say is we weren't going to do that. Um, you're never going to hear, This song is fire. Yeah, this song yeah, yeah. is a bop. Yeah, you're not gonna hear any. This song thing is like that. It's like now nah, you're gonna. You can if you're if you're if uh, we're talking to the audience here. So if you're in the audience and you like to say that, you can say you that, say it. and we encourage you to do that. At, and at, but at that's home. not a descriptive term. But yeah, we're not gonna it. use that sort of language. We're old. Is the thing like we're we're both. Or is it the north side of 50? Is that the right way yeah, to say it? that's a nice way to say it. It's the north. The south side of 60. <laughs> the south, I prefer the north side of 50. It sounds a little, <laughs> sounds a little bit more energetic. Um, but yeah, we don't, uh, we like slang, but we like the slang of our era, I guess. Yeah. Well, did we have slang back we when, did. when we were younger? Yeah. There was some, that wasn't was ripping. Ripping? Ripping. Yeah, that was your, I never said that. You never ripping. said that? No. I like, I'm fine with you saying. <laughs> but fire, fire. Uh, also, we're we're I'm, we're gonna try to avoid the use of the word awesome and people that like and iconic. Don't iconic, say if you no say things, iconic, I will reach across the table. Uh, no, it, we're not. I don't like when things are iconic. Well, the it's thing tiresome. is, is everything can't be iconic because then everything is no longer iconic. No, I think it would be interesting to try to track down the the last or anything that's not iconic. Like here's some non iconic things. <laughs> there must be something. <laughs> like that still around um but yeah we're, we're not gonna awesome i don't like that word we're not gonna be using that yeah awesome's not a good word either it's just sort of worn out it's welcome but if we were to use the word awful which originally meant awesome 
Oh, did it? Yeah, because it, because awful is actually full of awe. That was the like, original that's meaning. That's the original meaning. Did they take the E off and when they changed the meaning of it? You don't know. So there's I a don't limit. know about the spelling. There, I don't know about the origin There's of a the limit word. to your etymological... Is it etymological? Yeah. Entomological. That's insects. There's a limit to your... You, you, there's no limit to your entomological knowledge, but your, but your etymological knowledge has <laughs> I'm some good, I'm human I'm good with limits. bugs, too. Yeah. Um. <laughs> right. Okay, so, all right, is that enough pontificates? I, I noticed we've been pontificate. There, there ought to be a bell that goes off. Ding! Yeah, okay, that's We're enough. Gonna... So, who, okay, what is your name? Just for My name is Gina Palla. Gina Palla is your name. My name is Carl Straub. We are here to uh, put it quite frankly. That's what we do here. We, we, put we definitely put quite it quite frankly. frankly. We, don't, we don't pussyfoot around. We don't... Uh, we don't tiptoe around things. We don't have... Tiptoeing takes a lot of energy, I find. I don't have energy. I don't have the energy for it anymore. We we just we just walk around and we, we step... Uh, we step lively and bluntly into... into and, and we wade into whatever area we want to wade into. And we do it a lot, so... Yeah, we do it a lot. We figured we'd invite other people along. Yeah. And uh, all of you are free to... Disagree with our decision to do that. That is your prerogative. Okay, what are we going to be talking about? Um, we 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 uh, up front. We have a lot of things to say about BTS. At some point, maybe we'll take a break from that. But at least for today and the foreseeable future, that's going to be our topic. And we have many reasons why we think that's an interesting topic. It is an interesting topic. Why? Maybe we should. Maybe I should start by saying. That we've known each other for how long? Thirty some odd years. More than that. More than that. Almost yeah. forty, maybe. Almost forty. The north side of thirty. Let's just say that. It, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not the years. Um, several decades, and we've we've mostly known each other as fans. I'm a musician, and you are a music fan. But I'm also a music fan first, and we. I think our connection was mostly through shared interest in. Uh, a lot of rock and roll genres and subgenres, right? Like rockabilly and various kinds of punk rock, and uh, yeah, I guess for years that's all we talked about. I think it was just that's music. Probably true, music, um, and surf music, probably. And, yeah, you know, various definitely. Various cramps and various things like that, and 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 we like a lot of different things besides that stuff. But that's sort of what we used to talk about, probably, and um, and. The reason I bring that up is because a couple of years ago, I noticed that when we were we would chat on the phone because we don't we we actually right now are in the same building but we don't live in the same uh, well we live in the same country we don't live in the same state same. okay and we were talking on the phone a few years ago and I noticed I couldn't help but notice that you were you were fired up about this group BTS and I was thinking at the time well. I heard of that band somewhere. I heard they. I heard the extent of my knowledge about them at the time was they're a K-pop band, which means they they play pop music in their Korean, right? And that's that's, that's all it means. That's all it means. Yeah, that's right, all it means. Right. So I knew that <laughs> about them, I think. And I that was about the extent of my knowledge, and and my my first re- response to hearing you constantly bringing them up was. This is not the kind of music I would have expected Gina to be fired up about, because it doesn't. Um, it's not raw and exactly and uh, you know crazy or whatever. But but my immediate response after that was, well, I've never heard any thing about this stuff that would cause me to be fired up about it. But at the same time. Why, is, why would Gina be fired Gina's up? Gina's fired up about it, so I'm intrigued. And, and, and in other words, I, fired, did, I, I don't get fired up very often. No, in fact, the fact that you were fired up about anything was kind of disturbing <laughs> at, at, at the time. And, and, and I thought... Because I don't have time for all that. Well, I guess I guess somewhere in there I was concerned that maybe you had developed a tumor or something. But, but, that, but eventually I... I, I My I, other personality finally broke through. Yeah, eventually I started... 
you know, after some initial skepticism, it didn't take long for me to think, well, Gina's fired up about it. Maybe I should check this band out. And, and uh, um, so I did. And what it came down, and I, I approached it with an open mind because I should point out that although I like all kinds of things, I hate the word edgy, but I like all kinds of styles of music that are that that would, might be described as edgy or transgressive, maybe you know, uh, rock and roll bands and punk rock and Tom Waits and the Cramps and the Ramones and. Of course, you know, those people are pretty... Uh, fans of edgy music listening to this will probably be rolling their eyes and saying, ugh, that's, that's the mainstream stuff, dude. You know, whatever. But anyway, yeah, but I, then, I, I but like the Stooges. then there's like somebody like me, who, if you gave me a ticket, if you said, tonight we're going to see the Bad Brains, and I'd be like, let's go. Right, yeah, yeah the, the, point is, the point is that we both have a taste for all kinds of stuff like that that my parents would have probably not even recognized as music. But I, but at the same time, I can't speak for Gina, but I also it's dangerous to speak for her out loud. But um, but at the same time, I enjoy a lot of there's a lot of bubblegum music from the past that I really like. I don't I don't use the word bubblegum as as a criticism. I, I just I just see it as a, as a genre descriptor. I don't I don't look at it as yeah. And it's funny because I, I hear bubblegum, all I can think of is the Archies. Yeah, but then the Archies are one of the important bubblegum bands and they were great but um but the point is i've always liked that stuff along with with the stuff that is you know more aggressive or abrasive or whatever i like both and i've always felt that way so it wasn't it wasn't that much of a stretch even though i didn't have any knowledge about k-pop it wasn't that much of a stretch for me to check it out because because uh, I, you know, I like a lot of stuff that people consider fluff. I just look at it like it's got to be good fluff. I don't. It's got to be interesting. But right. I, don't, I don't dismiss something just because it's catchy and fun. You know, it's it's not my favorite thing necessarily. But I but I do love a lot of that stuff. So yeah. Anyway, I had an open mind about it. So um, then uh, I checked it out, and I my first reaction was. Well, these guys are pretty inventive, so I can see why Gina would be enthusiastic. Because I, th- about it. I think the first song that you heard was the one that I sent you. Well, it would have been. Yeah, I don't remember which one. It was, was. Lie. Okay. I re- I remember it distinctly. It was Lie. Okay. Because that's that's one of the ones that I that when I first heard it, I went, "Hold on, just wait, just wait a minute." <laughs> you know what I mean? This it 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 was intrinsically different than anything you're hearing here. And... When you say here, you mean in the U.S.? Here in the U.S. Okay. Or in the West. But... I, it's not what I was expecting. It's it, That song is very unexpected to me. From anybody, it would be. Well, how did you... Why don't we back it up a little bit? How did you happen to hear them the first time? Had you, had you heard of them before you heard them? I had heard of them before I heard them. Um, a person that I was friends with at the time... Um, was... I, like, I like the way you say that. It sort of implies that, that, that there's... You're not going to get into the details of how... I'm not getting into the details of that. Except for perhaps the reason why I'm not friends with that person anymore. Because I find it sort of hilarious. Um, okay. because it has to do with BTS. Yeah, okay, well, go ahead. Let's, um, yeah, let's... A person I was friends with at the time was heavily, like, heavily moving into, into Asian music. Asian pop music. Asian pop music, right. Um, and had mentioned to me the show that they have, run BTS. Okay. And, and I, I, I should point out, a lot of people listening to this may know all about that show, but I still don't know that much about it. So why don't you, it's, you explain it's a little bit? It's basically... It's a TV they, show. They, it was, it's a, it's, well, it, like, it started it, as, is, a, as a, YouTube like a YouTube show <laughs> on, their, on their YouTube it's channel. It's a TV show in the sense of, like, stylistically, it's like, stylistically, what we it's like a, a variety show, but it's, show. Yeah, but it's but on it, YouTube. It's something they would call a variety show. Okay, sure. Um, and it, it, one, it interested me because... One of the reasons that it even exists is because they weren't given a lot of opportunities to go on television 
because on the, proper television, on proper right, television right, over there, old, because old school television. because the company was so small, they didn't have the clout to get them on okay, the show. So, so television said, "We don't want you guys." What, this, was, you're talking about when they, st- when when they so now we're moving back even further into their history a little bit. When, yeah, into they, their history. When they were starting out, the record company was um, tiny. Was tiny, and they were making some records, and and the world of TV and of Korean TV was not interested in having them be part of it. It's like, we don't need you. You guys aren't big enough. You guys aren't big enough. You don't have a, They weren't part of the big three. There's big, a big three record companies over there. Okay. SM, YG, and JYP are the big ones. Well, we're the big ones. Back then, they were the big ones. Those are just the letters? Yeah, they're like guys' initials, usually. Okay. Um, the guys that started the company, obviously. But... Um, if you went with those companies, nobody really paid attention. And they started this show as a way to basically connect with fans because they weren't they weren't being put on. If they were putting on shows, being put on shows, it was for a short time, or they were cut from the broadcast, or there was okay, always right. something. So, so they were like, right, so, so it's basically kind of a do it yourself thing. It was kind they, of a do it yourself thing. They looked to alternative, but not alternative maybe, but. It is an alternative, but, but so, social media that's, they, of course, open to everyone. You There's can do no, it everyone you don't have to everyone. Be, yeah. You don't have to be a big corporation. And so, I mean, I when, saw, was, I saw, when was this, approximately? I'm gonna, you know? When did they start doing it? When did the show, just roughly, we, we, we're not going to always be this. 2015, I'm going to say. I think we should point out that, we, that, that our discussion about all this stuff is going to be somewhat impressionistic. We, we, we don't have a staff that's... Like, Running around, we're not always going to have the right timeline exactly. We're, yeah, we're, we're, we're talking 2016. about our impressions of, of the right. history. Um, feel free to correct us if we made a mistake. So that was one of the. That's basically one of the first thing before I even heard any of the music. Okay. I started watching a few of the shows. Okay, right. and they're hilarious. I mean, there's no, there's no, there's no way to like rate funny, but it's. Pretty fun. <laughs> and now, should we? I'm sorry to uh, mess up your train of thought, but should we mention what this relentless grinding and chewing noise is <laughs> for listeners? We, Hank, we we're keeping an eye on Hank the dog. If we if, if we if we uh, if we close the door, he'll just bark and scratch at the door. So it's easier to just have him here. But when he's here, he's chewing on. Is that a bone or is that his? One of his plastic things. I think it's a fake bone. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you're going to be hearing that noise. I did, probably you'd tune it out eventually. German music occasionally made inroads. I, I, it seems to me maybe, maybe fans of electronica or, or what they call BDM or what is it? EDM. Or EDM. Uh, it seems to me that electronic music fans are perhaps less um, inclined to have this sort of jingoist added. Like they're probably more open to uh, pop music from other cultures, I would, I, I would think. So there are exceptions to what. Well, I mean, that's the thing. There are some. There are some genres that don't care yeah. where it's from. It doesn't. If some, it's doesn't good, seem it's as good. relevant. And in, in, in fact, as an aside, I would say, ugh, all right, Hank, what are you doing? Are you ruining something over there? He's sniffing around trying to find sniffing, something. Sniffing is fine, but when he gets past sniffing, well, and that's the thing. Along. It's not mainly racism, but. But does racism rear its ugly head once in a while? Sure. In this of whole often. Yeah. You know, th- I whole... would I would actually argue that that that, that um, even though I'm, I seem to be tacking from one extreme point to another, uh, one position to another, it seems to me that to the extent that it is about racism, it's it's this it's probably a lot of people who would be absolutely appalled if you if, if you suggested that racism was part of it because a lot of these people there's there's plenty of people I would say that uh, are that are left wing and consider themselves very anti racism generally but but they still are 
are very dismissive of something like K-pop or J-pop or, or the, the, and and yeah. and so it's of course debate. Like you can't, unfortunately, you can't do a blood test for racism. So it's debatable, and you know as to whether racism is is in action or not. But but it but it is. But 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 the point is at. At the very least, there's a prejudice. There's a we were talking earlier about well, this. And it's, and it's, it's like I said, there's if prejudice. It's not American. If it's not American, it's prejudice. That's the thing is, there's so many levels that prejudice shows up in this conversation, yeah. where whether or not it's boy band, whether or not it's Korean, whether or not it's K-pop, whether or not they're young and good looking whether or not whatever it is yeah. you know what I mean there's yeah. always somebody that has to like nobody can just say oh that's a good song or or, or whatever you know I mean and, and that's the thing there's so many things that you could be interested in they have pretty, if you're interested in anything there's something that that they're involved in that touches on that. You're talking about BTS? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Right. I mean, it's kind of, it's like, you know, whether whether you're dealing with some sort of mental health issue, Sugar's lyrics are like freaking poetry for your brain. Yeah. You know? Uh, you like gaming? There's a ton of that going on. You like funny shows? There's that going on. You like to cook? High BDU has your freaking BTS recipe for the for the week. You know, yeah. you like working out? There's now high BDU workout videos. So I mean, uh, I'll tell you what. Let me. I I I'd like to. Um, that's a whole area of discussion we need to get into. And I, and yeah. I, I want to make a point about prejudice first, and we should also think maybe we should be wrapping this episode up and. Maybe for a start, since it was supposed to be an introduction, and yeah. we're just yeah. we're just jumped right yeah. in. Sorry. Yeah. Maybe 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 <laughs> what you t- how about this? What you talked about there about the, the the giant broad world of different things that are kind of swirling around the band BTS and all the all the the product that they that they are putting out there. Why don't we Why don't we get into that in another podcast, and we'll call that a little preview. And I want to make this point about prejudice, and then we can probably wrap it up. Okay. Uh, I think it's important to remember there's racism is like the big buzzword that you constantly hear. Everybody likes to trot that word out now. And, and, uh, I think it's important to refocus some attention on the word prejudice Prejudice. because I think what a lot, a lot of people like to think racism is, is basically defined as that thing that I never do. That's what other people do, and 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 they and then there's a thing where where if you if, if you don't agree with somebody, call them a racist, and then now you don't have to listen to them. And it's very fraught. And prejudice is a word that I think is is valuable to talk about because prejudice is something that virtually everyone has, and it's not about just it's not something. just about race. It's, it can be about anything. The basic idea is that if you like music, okay. It doesn't have to be music, anything, food, books, whatever. If whatever it is you like, you have some idea of what makes a good a good song or a good book or a good movie or whatever. And and, and that's that's what you know, whatever <coughs> Hank, Hank, this is not gonna work. We're almost done with the episode. We're almost done. Here, sit down, come over here. Come on. Alright. I guess I'll have to make this point quickly. That, 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 that's so easy. Hank. <laughs> All right, you got, I think you got to shut him outside if he's going to do that. We just right, have to have on. zero tolerance. Come on, dude. Ugh. Nobody wants to hear that. We might even have to edit that out. Come on. Okay, track here. Here's my point about prejudice, okay? Prejudice is when whatever your taste is about music or books or food or whatever, that, your taste is your own. You, you like food that's like this and you don't like food that's like that. Okay, fine. But prejudice is, is in, in this context, is when you look at something and you're not really paying attention to it and you assume that's not going to be on my approved list of stuff that I think is good. So to give an example or give an abstract example, some people might say, I don't like science fiction films or I don't like Mexican food or I don't like 
you know, I don't like pop music unless it's British or American or whatever. These are all things that are based on prejudice. They're not based on knowledge. They're not based on yeah. That's exactly right. They're they're absolutely. That's the whole point of prejudice. Is it keeps it? It's 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 a way of. Prejudice is kind of like calling in sick when you're not really sick. You don't feel like going to work. Okay. Prejudice means I don't have to go into work because I called in right. sick. Okay, I don't have to pay attention to what's happening in, in in Korea because I know it sucks. But how do you know? You don't know. Actually, you don't know. I, I don't have to pay attention to Mexican food because I know I don't like it. How do you know? Well, I just know. I can look at it and see. Uh, you know. Well, I th- I think that a lot of people I, I, that would be shocked to hear that one of the one of the biggest songs from last year was actually from an Italian band. And I don't think anybody knows they're Italian. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Which I think is really funny. What, did they sing the song it's, in English? Um, yeah, the song's in English. Okay. And I can't even think of what their name is. Man, 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 Manskin? What, what are they, how do you pronounce it? I don't know. This I don't know. I'll have to Italian show you. But, but, but I, I think that if, but if they knew that they were Italian, they probably wouldn't listen to it. Yeah, that might it. have been an issue. That's right. But it ended yeah. up becoming like a, a totally viral thing because the song's pretty great. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Let's give one more example or two and then we'll close it out for today. I just want to point out a couple of years ago, and I still haven't seen this movie, but I want to see it. Uh, the movie, by, uh, I've forgotten the name of it. What was it? And I, I, is he Korean? The, the director? Parasite. Oh, Bong Joon-ho. Yeah. Yes. Parasite. Now, I like that director. I've seen like three of his other films, but I still haven't seen that one. I've been saving it up because it, it's, it's, it's clearly, it looks really great. I and, really and, like that movie. And I knew people who had a problem with that movie getting the Academy Award, and I was looking at it like, but why? I mean, I mean that guy's a great director. The character he's, development He's actually one of my favorite so great. current directors, and the fact that he's Korean, I mean, if anything, it's a plus, but it's certainly not... It's certainly not a reason for me not to want to see his movies. I've, I've seen two or three of them. They were, they were terrific. Yeah. Um, and, but, but, but my point is that I did, I, I, I read some articles, there were people that had a problem with that thing winning, and I, sometimes I engaged with them, and I, I really couldn't understand what, what the hell they're, like, they, they're, they're doing everything they could do to, to, to not, to, to not accept that prejudice might have something to do with it, like, they just didn't want to say that yeah, but, but what, I, well then what is your problem I don't understand you know why I, I, I never understood what the beef was I don't understand what the beef it, the beef was either and I thought it was kind of amazing that, that that a movie that wasn't American was even nominated for best picture and well and part of it too I think is the prejudice against reading subtitles Ugh, well, that's a whole other discussion. That's a whole I, other discussion. I don't have really but in that movie, for that. I forgot that there was even subtitles happening. I mean, that's how good his the whole character development and development of plot was so good that it didn't it didn't register in my brain that I was reading what was what was yeah. happening. I well, mean, it's the, kind of like good Italian films where you're like. You know, you don't even you lose the fact that you're you're reading well, subtitles. Well, this is an aside, I guess, as most of the things I say are. But 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 the point is that that increasingly we're not increasingly we don't really communicate verbally anyway, and and even we're, though as much as I love, ironically it, enough, we're going back to the ways of silent film. Well, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the thing is that that. Um, Although, as much of a fan as I am of language and prose and all of that, it's also true that mo- movies are a visual medium. And, and, and uh, if, you're, if you're not telling a story, I mean, you ought, there ought to be some sort of story being told, even if people can't understand the dialogue, it seems to me. And, 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 and it seems to me that I guess what you're saying is that, that a lot of the story was being told visually, even though... There were subtitles, and so yeah. it doesn't seem like as much work because it's not like I mean, imagine it, it, you know if it was like my my dinner with Andre with subtitles, that would be a lot of work because there's really no story at all except for these two guys yammering. Right. But on the other hand, Parasite is yeah. is a story where 
you learn a lot about the people from looking at, from from the visual techniques and from where they live and the setting acting. and the acting and, the, <laughs> and, and the, but not just verbal acting but the acting that they're conveying with with their expressions exactly. and body language and all but on, that. But in the same note, of other Korean films that I've watched, they seem to put an emphasis on character development. Okay. So that you actually are emotionally bound to these people within 20 minutes. They're just really good at that. Like you have an actual yeah, emotional right. connection to what's happening. Well, I'm not sure how a movie really works if you don't have, if you're going to have characters you right. want to try to get people emotionally invested. And the fact that that one they can do it through subtitles. I mean, I'm sure if I was watching it and understood spoken Korean, I I bet it's even better. Yeah. But you know, the fact that they can do it through that just fascinating to me. All right. Well, clearly I need to see this movie. Have you have you seen any of his earlier films? Snowpiercer. Oh, I didn't see that one. Okay. Um, I forget what which ones I saw. And and I one saw other one that I can't think of what it's called. I saw one that involved. I don't know. We shouldn't start babbling about it because I'm just. I'm just yeah, saying. that's a whole other thing. <laughs> um, basically, what I'll be telling the audience <laughs> that's is a how whole little I thing. how little I can actually recall of these films that I'm raving about. I can't remember the titles or the themes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did Snowpiercer. Could be. I don't know. I haven't seen that. Um, but at any rate, let's let's return to that later. We will be, have much more to say about BTS in the next episode. And um, anything else we need to say before no. we sign off? Okay. No. Well, this has been uh, Gina and Carl. Uh, put it quite frankly, I, I think I think we put it quite frankly this time. It seems to me <laughs> we didn't we didn't beat around the bush. No, we really didn't. All right, so it's going to, you know, if, if you hated this, uh, you probably shouldn't tune in any more episodes. It's going to be more of the same. <laughs> We're going to try to tighten things up a little bit, but I, I feel like it was fairly tight. That was pretty I'm good. trying to talk in kind of a tone that makes it sound like like, like, like it's tightly paced and, 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 and competent. But I, I, yeah, I, 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 really th- I really think that no matter how much inane blathering you do, if, if, if you talk in a kind of a William Buckley esque kind of rhythm and with confidence it, 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 it people think that they think oh well that guy must know his subject he must whereas know in something. fact I, in fact I, I may not I, I, I'm just I'm just talking in a certain way and if you if you talk like you don't know what's up then then, then people it doesn't matter how sophisticated and knowledgeable you are yeah it's true that's again, very true again we're in a, increasingly a post-verbal society it's all it's all the it's the way you talk that, that convinces that people the that they should across. be paying attention. Uh, no, it doesn't get the point across. It just it just it just convinces people that they should listen. They think you have a point. <laughs> I don't think that's happening here. Huh? <laughs> I don't think that's happening here. Well, maybe not. But maybe we can. Maybe I can get better at that for next time. Okay. All right. All right. Then uh, that is it. We're One, signing two, off. three. Thank hit you. the button. First time listeners to the Gina and Carl.